Close your eyes, watch your breath. Breathe in a way that feels good. This way you show goodwill to yourself. And it's a way of showing goodwill to yourself that spreads around to other people as well. You're trying to find a sense of well-being that comes from inside. That doesn't have to depend on things outside. And in developing this sense of well-being, you have to develop some qualities of the character. Persistence, endurance, patience. Integrity, because you have to be very clear about what's actually happening in the mind. You can't deny what's going on. Otherwise, you can't get the mind to settle down with any kind of wisdom. It can settle down, but it won't have any wisdom. If you want wisdom, you have to be true to yourself about what's actually going on and what needs to be taken care of. In other words, as the Buddha said, if you think certain thoughts, that becomes the bent of your mind or the inclination of the mind. It's not the case that you allow yourself to think something and it get, gets it out of the system. The more you think in certain ways, the more the mind will have a tendency to go back to those ways. So you've got to be very careful about what you allow to settle into the mind. And as you're developing these good qualities, they're going to spread out into your actions as well. This is why this is a good way of showing goodwill for yourself and goodwill for other people. That's our basic motivation. We want a happiness that doesn't harm anyone. So it has to be found inside, the goodness that we develop from within. That's the source for a harmless happiness. So look inside. Use the breath as your anchor as you survey the body, survey the mind. Get to know what's going on. So when you see that there's something that needs to be changed, okay, you're happy to change it because the mind is basically in a good mood. When the breath is flowing smoothly, the body feels good. Things seem a lot brighter. And if you can't get the breath to do what you want it to, try to get the mind to do what you want it to. Because ultimately we want to make the mind more independent so it doesn't have to depend on the comfort in the body, good, good feelings in the body, that it can maintain its equilibrium. It can maintain its goodness in the face of whatever is going to happen. But if you can get the breath on your side, so much the better. It's in this way that we find happiness for ourselves in a way that doesn't harm the world. We set a good example for the world as we do this.